Good evening, good evening. Well, it's San Diego, it's evening. Depending on where you are, you might be in a different part of the world. So I do know a lot of people in different countries, Australia, Taiwan, Singapore. So if you're coming from one of those countries, good day, because for you, it's actually really early in the morning for you guys, isn't it? But good day to you guys. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm just going to really quickly share this out on my personal page on Facebook. I'm broadcasting it live on my business page. I'm trying to grow my business page audience. And, and you know, they say you've got to put stuff on your business page um, because Facebook sends stuff out from your business page. I don't see much interaction on there, so I'm not sure if it really works. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting to go ahead and post on my business page, and then I'll share it out on my personal page and have it both places. Hey, Steven, it's good to see you. He loves my new background. I just got that yesterday. And this is just um, a four panel thingy that I have behind me. And I used to have the white one back there, which I really liked a lot, but it kind of washed me out. And I don't need anything to wash me out because I'm already washed out as it is, right? But my name is Linda West, and I'm here tonight to talk about, um, you know, there's a, a subject for me that's been very important for me to discover lately and that's like why not me I've been living my life thinking so much things about like I can't do that because this person is doing that I can't do that because I'm not smart enough I can't do that because there's so many other people already doing it and they're already successful so what makes me think I would be successful so I started thinking about um, oh there's my website I just love be live be live TV it's so cool because you can share things like that on there but I was thinking the other day about some of the things I've done this last several years and I've made so many amazing changes in my life and what I'm doing and part of that has been because I've come to that realization that it's not, you know, I can't do that because, but it's more like, why not me? Why not me? I see so many people who are successful doing so many things. And it kind of stopped me. It put me back in my tracks and said, I can't do that because, you know, I don't have that experience or I don't have the ability. I don't know how or whatever excuses I came up with. I came up with a ton of excuses. And so recently I've come to realize that, that what I, those things that were stopping me, that I needed to change that. And I needed to start saying, asking my own question. And that is, why not me? Instead of why why me? Why, why can I do that? No, it's why not me? Why can't I do that? So I'm going to give a great example of something I'm working on right now. And, um, and it is this, the fearless entrepreneurs. Now I was in a book, I'm in a book, a co-author of a book called Footsteps of the Fearless. And that's authored by Greg Reed. And then there's, oh, I should get hot in here. Sorry. Then uh, many co-authors and I happen to be one of the co-authors in the book. And when I first reached out to do that book, I said, I'm in, I want to do it. You know, I felt like I'd been living this life, you know, of a somewhat of a fearless life as far as, you know, doing things that were scary for me. Now, it's not like I hiked um, Mount Kilimanjaro or I did, you know, like doing all these peaks or anything. It's not like I jumped out of a plane, nothing scary like that. But things for me that were scary, like putting myself out there, like saying, Linda has a voice. Linda has an opinion. Linda has a mind. Those were things that were so scary to me. And I realized recently that that was because I was terrified of what people would think of me. So I didn't put myself out there. Because if I put myself out there and I found out that people didn't like what I had to say, that it made me feel small and it made me feel like I didn't have any value. But what I've come to realize is that it doesn't matter because what matters is that I do have a voice and I'm putting my voice out there now. And by stretching myself to say, you know what? It doesn't matter what other people think because here's the beauty of it. Some are gonna like what I have to say. Some are gonna love what I have to say. Some are gonna be confused by what I have to say. And some are just going to flat out not like what I have to say and not agree with me. And it doesn't matter because those who like what I have to say, those who love what I have to say, and those who want to hear what I have to say, those are the people that I want to be around me anyway. It's, I'm not really interested in pleasing the whole world, all 7 billion people, because it's impossible to, right? So instead of me being stressed out about it, I realized that 
I needed to just step up and and voice my own thoughts. So that was part of my journey of you know getting to being in the book Footsteps of the Fearless with Greg Reed. So I raised my hand. I said, I want in. I want in. I feel like I'm doing some things that are fearless for me at least. Maybe they'll inspire other people. I don't know. But I want in. And so I reached out to Greg and I said, Greg, I'd love to be in the book. And he said, okay, you're on board. So he put me in the book and during the writing process, it was very simple. He made this a very, very simple process to go through. Basically, he interviewed me and he interviewed everybody who was in the book because there was uh, several co-authors in the book, 15 of us, and interviewed everybody else. Then he sent us our chapters, each individually. We edited our chapters, sent them back. And then he sent us the whole book for, for us to all, you know, proofread to look it over or whatever and give any feedback to him that they that we saw and we thought that needed to be changed or what have you. And then we sent those back to him and then the book was published. And it was so simple, such a simple process. Now the whole process from start, you know, like the day I paid my portion until the time the book came out was, I think it was about eight months, total somewhere around eight months. And I was excited though, because I was in this book, you know, with Greg Reed and with these other amazing people, just absolutely amazing authors in this book and amazing people. But what happened is I noticed that I started getting a little fearful, like, who do I think I am to have myself in this book? And and I, sh- I quickly, shortly, quickly got over that feeling because I realized it, it's not about who I think I am. It's about sharing something with the world that might change somebody's life. Because when we share, when we offer ourselves out to the world for others to see and to hear, we're giving an offering of a gift of something that they might have needed to hear at that very moment. It's possible they needed to hear it at that very moment. So with all of this said, I've seen many, many, um, many, many people who are professional speakers. They're out on the speaker circuit and they're out there and they're promoting their books. They're promoting themselves and they're also offering to have people join them in a book and put that book out there. And it got me thinking, why don't I do that? The reason I hadn't thought about doing it before is because I thought, well, who am I? Who am I to do that? But then I started realizing that, who are they, right? They're authors, they're speakers. You know, I'm an, I'm a co-author in a book, so I'm an author, right? I'm a speaker, I've been out speaking. Now I'm not on this like huge national speaker circuit, but I've spoken, I put myself out there. I've been on TV, I've been on the news, I've been in magazines, I've been interviewed. So who am I? Who am I anyway, right? I decided, you know what? It doesn't even matter. What matters is that I'm putting it out there and I'm giving an opportunity to others to tell their story. So who am I? Yes, I'm somebody who's an action taker. I'm somebody who says, I want to do this and I put it out there and I do it. That's who I am. And that's who they are too. They decided that they wanted to put together a book, a compilation book or a co- collaboration book. And so they put it out there. So I said, Linda, just do it. This is something you want to do. Just do it. So I decided to go ahead and just do it. So the one thing that had been stopping me before was the, you know, why me? But now I've realized that it's actually, why not me? It's time for me to step up. It's time for me to step out. And it's time for me to take the bull by the horns, right? And and make changes in my life so that I can live the life that I want. So I can help people live the life they want. That's one thing I absolutely love doing. I've loved helping people since I was little. I've always you know, been that way. And being able to do something like this, where I take an idea and I bring other people into the idea, other action takers who want to do something like this, but they don't know how, they don't have the support. Well, I've got the support. I've got Christine Robinson, who's absolutely amazing. She's helped 400, more than 400 people go to number one in their books. And she's helped them you know, write the books and get them out there. So we have this process we're going to go through. And I'd love to invite you guys to join us. February 15th, and I'll put a link in here. Um, fe- Actually, I don't have a link yet. Oops, I shouldn't have said that. Ah. So February 15th, 
we have the, um, we're going to hold a webinar, and that's February 15th at 3.30 Pacific time. We're going to hold a webinar where we talk about what we're doing and share how you can be involved with that. So go ahead and you know, like my business page. I will be posting more information in the next day or two. We'll get that up there. I'm you know, hoping in the next day or two by Sunday, we'll have that information up there because February 15th is fast approaching. But we'll have that information up there for you guys. And we'd love to have you join us and be part of our book. And this is going to be really exciting. Imagine this. You're held captive on a cruise ship in Hawaii, going around the cruise, you're going around the Hawaiian islands. You aboard the ship not having written a book. But you, when you finish the cruise, a book has been written. Imagine that. Imagine that. We're going to take this thing to number one. It's guaranteed. Christine guarantees it every single time, which is so awesome because having that, that guarantee means a lot to me because I like to make sure that whatever I promise that I can actually deliver on. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. If you are an entrepreneur, you are fearless. And we want to hear your story. I'd love for you to be part of my book. And Greg Reed is actually going to write the foreword for the book. And he's an international speaker, author, filmmaker, and you name it, the guy does it. He's absolutely amazing. And he's, his event called Secret Knock is the number two Forbes must attend event every year. So Greg really is going to be a tremendous asset to our book. And I'd love to have you guys be part of it. I'll share more information on my page again as we get the um, funnel together ready for you to go and sign up for the webinar. We can only have 50 people on because that's all that Zoom will allow us to have. So we would love to have, love to see you as one of the 50. Hey, Andrea. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling so much better, girl. I, it's like night and day. So I was sick, what, for all last week for over a week. And um, I think about Wednesday this week, I started feeling better. And now I'm like, 100 percent it's not it's like i never was even sick so that's awesome right <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful evening and if you get a chance you know go check out my website there it is lindamys.com and again i look forward to seeing you on the webinar february 15 3 30 pacific time have a great night everybody and we'll see you around bye bye now